guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episodes 24 and 25 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 24 and 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah. I mean, officially, like, as I said, what, almost two weeks ago, that was the most darkest moment in this show. I mean, Pretty Cure overall has had a lot of dark moments, but, like, mmm. And it's also weird how, you know, we do the recap, and then it's like, oh, hey, here's an opening. <laughs> like out of all the times now like that you know this ain't a good idea not a good look but okay <laughs> no, I can't do that. If I continue doing that, I'm going to break it even more. I can't hear you. Unfortunately. You really think that's going to work, Nozween? And we get like this cute little happy moment right here. No, no, no. <laughs> You can't go against them all by yourself, boo. Mm. Of course, we knew that was going to happen, right? Of course, because she's a pink cure. Pink cures have to have the most hopeless of hope of all hope. Excuse me. Oh. 
Oh, no, no, no. Where are you two going? Oh, Milky. Oh! Cause she hard headed. I mean, come on. We 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 talked about this last week, like two weeks ago. God, this just reminds me of like moments when you have like a dream within a dream within a dream, and then it's like, no, you never want to make up. Oh, wake up, make. <laughs> I can't speak. Wake up. <laughs> But in your like gut feeling, you know something's wrong, and you just can't figure out what it is. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. you are. There she is. The fact that he like was so Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, doesn't that sound fine? Honestly, just imagine if she did not have that, this whole plan of trying to get her back and get the rest of the girls back would be so screwed.
Yeah, I mean, because, you know, no one's not supposed to do that, right? But, you know, I, once again, the power of a pink cure. Main character power. Yes, you can, Ren. Mm-hmm. Of course, that's friendship, babe. No, I mean it's okay. You're friends. You're gonna fight. So are we finally getting a one something? I don't remember because whoa, God has been forever since I've seen this stuff. Well, I mean, unfortunately, you're just not that powerful enough. When it comes to, like, five girls versus one person, you know, mm, the girls are going to win no matter what. God.
That's not true. Oh, honey. Bro, we still doing fireworks at one ten in the morning? Every little girl wanted this. Damn, that's pretty. I mean, for something that came out so many years ago, Jesus. One second. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, my God. Gee, I can't. Holy crap. And then, of course, we can't use this power only, like, on certain occasions and such. Maybe, you know, because, mm -hmm, of course, you have to. But, God, that was beautiful. Very, very beautiful.
you good, babe. Good job. Oh. so pretty honestly that makes me want to go back to do like some bracelet making like oh my god I made too much like <sighs> between making friendship bracelets in high school and then making just like regular bracelets on, on psh, nutshell your girl was making money with that ish. <laughs> like oh, I'm so happy one the new power looks really nice I mean like oh god where would I rank that I know, like, probably at the time when I watched this for the first time, I was like, oh, this is number one, da-da-da-da-da, like, nothing else can compare, and then, you know, you see the rest, because, like, my, my personal fave, even up until now, has to be, like, mostly the Gold Princess Pretty Cares, because their power-ups was the first time when this series decided to try CGI with the, um the attacks and everything and it honestly really in my opinion worked I think a lot of people really enjoyed it and I hate the fact is we're in 2021 and we have not seen any other CGI attacks for the series and it's it's very like how when Toei at the same time was making um Sailor and Crystal and we, we don't talk about season one or season two of Sailor Moon Crystal and then 3D transformations because we can all agree that nobody liked the <laughs> transformations of Sailor Moon Crystal. I mean, how Netflix finally put freaking seasons one to season three of Sailor Moon Crystal on it after, like, just now putting uh, the Eternal movies on there, which was weird. I was like, why don't you put Crystal first and then the Eternal movies? But I get it. But, I mean, as I was saying, because there, there was a moment where, like, I think between, when season two of Sailor Moon Crystal ended, or really season one, season two, because they have both seasons together um, <clears throat> in, like, a 26 episode series, and we were waiting <laughs> for uh, season three and how everybody was talking mad-ish on the the animation the quality and ish from tv to blu-ray and i'm guessing the the uh, i cannot speak the netflix version is going to have the the tv version so i i cannot wait to see huh, some of the the not so great things about sailor and crystal that i honestly do not miss but um when Sailor Moon season, Sailor Moon Crystal season three came out, and the biggest thing was everybody didn't want transfer three uh, D transformations because everyone said it was like a little too jarring. Like the first few episodes, it was nice, and then later on, it just kind of just withered and it wasn't great. But <laughs> when when Toei decided to take a chance on the three D attacks for Go Princess Breaker, it was one of the most greatest things that I had ever truly seen because. At that time, we had never really had, like, CGI 3D transformations. Only really for, like, the Aikatsu or Idol Master, not even Idol Master, Aikatsu or Pretty Rhythm slash Pretty Pata series where it goes from 2D to 3D and 3D performances. But 3D attacks was just, like, the best thing. And, and it made me think, oh, snap, like, they're going to pave the way of to possibly having, like, an all 3D type... Um, pretty good series so you know we never got that and, and I'm kind of happy that we didn't because you know I, I think it would have 
not been the greatest, but I'm okay with that. But yeah, this is a really good episode. The attack, like I said, once again, beautiful attack. Loved it. Loved how they all made the bracelet. Not the bracelet. The freaking butterfly decoration because that thing was gorgeous as heck but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode 25 okay episode 25 in three two one go See, okay, how do we say that now? And and then watch what happens. You know what I kind of also wish that they did, especially with now the fact is that with ever since healing good and now we're getting like the most recent cure pretty cure series with like a random other cure series like making a crossover in you want to see them use the same freaking final attacks that they get to use in the anime or something that gets referenced in the movie just saying Like, okay, for an example, um, was it Star Twinkle? I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's one thing in Star Twinkle in the movie, because it's, whoa, it's been a while since I've seen that movie. Um, they, they showed certain things that they didn't show nowhere near in, like, the final few episodes of the series. And I remember, like, Best girl. <laughs> Best girl, Co Cosmo. Best queen. Queen. Queen right there. And like, oh my god, like her outfits and everything. Everybody's outfits in ish. But Queen's outfits. Everything looked so freaking good. But Queen was just the best girl on the second show. I'm saying right there. Cosmo just was like, mm. Every single week she ate it up. But there were certain moments in that movie that, like, with powers and everything, because I get it. The movies are typically a filler, and certain things that happen in the movie won't happen in a TV show. So, like, getting the attacks that they had from the movie, it would have been nice to see that in one of the other movies. Especially, you know, even though we don't really necessarily have an all-star movie anymore, we just get the most recent Pretty Hair series with the other recent ones, and it just... Still, it's not fair. Like, as much as I love that, I, I wish we had everybody because it's really nice to see who paved the way at the beginning of the series up to now and everyone gets to, you know, have, like, a relationship with everyone. And it's, in a way, kind of canon. I mean, damn, even during the summer. <laughs> yeah maybe go hang out by yourself go shopping uh, <laughs> trading camp is about to be chaos <laughs> You know, power of friendship, death. Yes, but you know, 
<laughs> You're supposed to be. Well, of course, she wants to take over your job, right? I mean, you think the witch is five from Sailor Moon is bad? <laughs> You're not even. Every villain for the freaking Predator series because. <laughs> everyone is so freaking conniving, it's not even funny. Yeah, I mean, that's more important than snacks. Like, the snacks thing is, like, the fourth, fifth, maybe sixth thing that's important. <laughs> like, training camp? Yeah. Yeah, like how are you going to get there? Plane, train, bus? Tiny island. Oh, <laughs> oh God. To own your own island, that is goals. Straight goals. <laughs> right.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> but still, you never know. The trip might be fun. I mean, especially when you're with your friends, a, a trip is always fun. Oh, of course you did. Is that even enough? Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, crackers? Are we seriously going to fight over soda? Yeah. You guys... Imagine how much that's going to cost. Oh my god. <sighs> exactly. N no, Zimmy, no! What if God already has a stereo there? It feels like it got colder in here all of a sudden.
That's wrong. Oh. <laughs> it's stereo. Because <laughs> can you imagine if she used the whole cart? That thing would look like a hot mess. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. That's not going to work. Well, you know, it, it, once again, it's time to use the new power if you got just an episode to go. So, you know, whenever y'all ready, because we 16 minutes in this episode, so, you know, go ahead and bring it out. No, but I don't think that's enough. Of course. Yeah, cause that was just mm. <laughs> that was everybody's personal hell, and I don't think I I don't want to experience that again. So mm, let's not. Damn. 
See, you know what power is good as high because when you know you're showing like several different angles from it, like oh my god, mm. I miss that pretty here. <laughs> Now, of course, like, everyone has one, but we're not going to see it until, you know, the next four episodes, right? Of course. <laughs> you sure you don't want it? That, and you can take lots of pictures, take a video camera with you. <laughs> well, yeah, with all that stuff, because we, we need to know that price. No, 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 no. You still got a whole bunch of junk in there. I mean, that's going to be about like a hundred bucks with all that stuff. You go on a trip with your friends, you have a budget, <laughs> like straight up, like, okay, you'd be like, this is how much we're all going to spend. Whatever we buy and whatever we bring in the house, we all share it, but you know, mm, when it's the last day, we, we all truly figure out what the heck we all want to take home. That's it. Because just recently, when I came back from St. Augustine, like there were certain things that my mom and I bought that her friends didn't buy, but we all used like predominantly like everything. But the morning of when we had to leave, we had to figure out, like, who was going to take what home. Or even the night before we had to leave. We Mainly that night, we were just sitting there packing up mainly, like, I know I was. I was packing up my clothes, anything that I was like, okay, I don't need now. I was like, pack it the fuck up so that when I get up in the morning, I can take a shower. I can do this, this, that, and the third and get my stuff in the car. And then eventually go home to go get my dog because... Of course, my dog was being was at my aunt's house for the weekend and ish. But I mean, okay, yes. Sometimes you have to put your differences aside, but then at the same time, you know, it's just like, hey, if everybody has a certain preference of drink, food, then yeah, you everyone takes a little bit of a budget. Like if if the budget is like a thousand dollars or a thousand yen, or for us, like okay, U.S. dollars, fifty bucks. You buy your ish all in 50 bucks, and that's it. You don't spend a whole much, but yeah, like, it, it happens to all of us. Sometimes we go over a budget, but it makes you wonder, like, how much was all that stuff that they had? Cause you know we gotta have that romance back in. Yeah, let's go, let's go. We do it. It's gonna be so good. Oh my god, yes! It's like Tokyo Mimi and a Mermaid Melody and Ish all over again. Speaking of Mermaid Melody, oh my god, can we forget? Not only like is Tokyo Mimi coming back for freaking Mermaid Melody, like bro, I can't. We we are living in the year or uh, the next few years of Magical Girls, and I freaking love it. Like. To have things that I grew up on, either getting, like, a reboot or a sequel, something, I love it. Like, 
every year with this show, you get pretty here, and it's like, yes, magical girls for the whole freaking year. But then now you're probably about to have, like, three different magical girl stuff, like, for a whole two, three years, and I'm so excited. Like, oh, your girl, you don't even know. And, it, like, the fact is that we gotta wait until next month to, like, I think officially see, like, the first chapter. They did, like, a, a picture. It's Lucia's daughter and this guy, and I'm guessing he's a teacher. I don't know. But, like, oh, it's, like, so good. I'm so excited. Like, also, the beach episode, that looks good. It just mm, makes you want to have a barbecue, but, I mean, at the same time, because of the fact is in, like, less than a day, um, Big Behind Tropical Storm is coming here. <laughs> I can't have a barbecue here now. I mean, like, how our fourth year this year was not the greatest. Like, I mean, yeah, we all know last year because of COVID it was really bad. But, like, this year, specifically for, like, where I live, um, it rained, like, all day. All freaking day. Like, for because of the fact that, you know, Tropical Storm Elsa is coming to us. And, um... <laughs> When it rains, it rains, and it's just so bad. It's just been getting worse every single day, so I hope it's not too, too bad when this storm gets here. But, of course, I ain't going on until freaking Wednesday. But, yeah, this was a really good episode. Just honestly cannot wait to see the next two, especially because one of them is an official summer episode. I mean, this was like a pre-summer episode, but we, we really getting in deep into a summer episode and they're gonna, oh my god, they're gonna eat food and corn on the cob. Because, like, you, like, oh my god, when you think of summer, you think of corn on the cob. Corn on the cob is the best freaking thing to have in the summer. Oh my god, I kind of want some right now at, like, 1.46 in the morning. <laughs> Which is weird, but I'm, I'm not really hungry, though. But, you know, it's like, mm, you just craving something. Yeah. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episodes 24 and 25 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 26 and 27. Bye, guys.